Hello everyone, in this video we will see SQL performance rules on ABAP on HANA. We will see what all are the rules we were following till now whenever we are writing the select query on other database and what we have to follow on the HANA database. Let's get started. SQL performance rules for SAP HANA. First we will talk about older ABAP, what all are the rules we have to follow whenever we are hitting the database with the SQL query. So there were five golden rules in older ABAP. These rules are still valid in ABAP on HANA. Some of are more important or some of are less important. Let's see one by one all the rules. First is keep result set small. What I mean keep result set small? Whenever we are hitting the database with the select query, we have to put where condition or we have to put having close. So in that case, what we can do, we can we can the minimize the data what we are getting, number of rows we can minimize and those rows we can get instead of getting all the data. Whatever the data really required, those data with, use, with using the where condition, we have to get those data only. So keep result set small, as much as small. That means with whatever the data need, that data you have to get. So what is the advantage of doing that? First advantage, when we run, we need the less memory at the database level to process that query. Second thing, we have to get the data from the database from to the application layer. So the network overhead. So if the data is less, there will be the last work for the network as well and we will get data easily. Second rule, minimize the amount of transfer data. What I mean amount of transfer data, suppose I'm writing a select query, I need uh, five fields from a database table. Suppose I, from Mara, I need only material or some of, some of other fields from the Mara. I should not write select all from that Mara. I have to write only those fields which is really required. Those fields I have to write explicitly and those data only I have to get from the database instead of getting the old line all the columns of that particular table. So that is the mean of minimize of amount of data transfer. Third thing, minimize the number of database access. So whenever we are writing a select query on the and hitting the database layer, that time database have to look on that select query and he have to optimize way, he have to run that query so it can be run faster and it can get the result. But sometime what we will do, I have suppose I am writing uh, in one of the program the data from VBAK table. I draw got the data, I process everything is done. But another developer when he write the code, he uh, function functional specs telling that you have to still get the data from VBAK. He write another select query. <laughs> so that's the thing. So you should not write multiple select queries on the same table. You have to see that if there is a already select query is there, you have to use that select query only. You have to add your own field, whatever the fields are there, you have to add your own field and then you have to get the data from the same table and you have to use the same internal table. So that's an important thing. Instead of hitting multiple time database access, multiple time database, you have to use one time if one time only and not only it, it is using the one table. If you combine more one, more than one table, you have to combine and then you have to hit the database table. So you should not hit multiple time for the same data or some same the same database table. Why? Because database have to process that query. You have it have to optimize. Not only that, when we are getting the data from database to application server, the network also have to get the same data again and again, and it have to also work that network overhead also and database overhead also. So that is the reason we always say hit one table one time in one program. Do it, unless and until unless it is required to hit multiple times. Sometimes we hit VBFA table. Uh, so that time we have to use multiple times. If you worked with ST, then you already know about the VBFA table that uh, we can get the previous presenting and succeeding documents. So that time we have to hit. That's uh, our what what we can say in Hindi. We can say Mazburi. <laughs> so we have to use that one. So that we can't do in that. Uh, data and anything but we still have to use third thing minimize search overhead for minimizing the search overhead 
we are as i told you in my first statement keep result set small so for that we are using where condition but when we are using where condition we have to make sure we use primary or second indexes so that database no need to work too much or no need to process whole data so that is the reason we have to use appropriate where condition whenever we are doing whenever we are writing select query so we have to make sure we are using either primary indexes or secondary indexes the fifth rule is keep unnecessary load away from database so what we will do usually so we will get the same data using the same data using the different different query in the application server the same way what i am taking if you are hitting one table with the same field in different different places in the same program so we are unnecessary uh, we are unnecessary forcing the database to do some work because that's not required we have that data again we are writing the same query on the database that we should not do because why i am telling like that to database have only one server so it's it's a, it's processing everything one but in application level we have n number of server that can process they can divide and task but database have one why we have to uh, put the load on the database and second thing if we are sorting the data we can sort it the application layer why we have to sort at the database and get the data instead of after getting data we can sort at the application layer but here is the hack so these are the rules in the older ABAP or we can say we are working with other database. From out of these rules, there are some of the rules are the more important when we are working on the ABAP on HANA database. But some rules is are less important for us. We no need to care about, we, we should not care that much about those rules. We will see that now. These are the two guidelines more important on SAP S4 HANA. First is minimize the amount of data transfer why data transfer means number of columns we have to get we have to fetch those columns only which is required why it is more important on abap hana abap on hana <laughs> abap on hana why because we have to the data in the hana database column store and in the compressed form for constructing one column for getting one column or number of column we have to unpack that data then we have to process the data and construct a row which is we required to construct that particular row for example i want to get from four fields from that uh, four or five fields from some database table so really i required only two fields only but i'm fetching five fields. but still i have to process those all five columns i have to uncompress those columns and i have to construct that five column one row and then i have to get if I would have uh, done with two columns, it will be much faster than I am using more columns. So, so, if we are not needing any columns, we should not get those columns and we should not write the query on those columns. Whatever the required data, those data only we have to get from the database. So, that it become more important because we, our data is compressed form and column are stored in the HANA database. Second is minimizing the number of database access. For minimizing the number of data database access, what we have to do, we should not write the multiple select statement for the multiple tables. Instead of that, we can combine those select statement, write one select statement itself. Suppose I have to get the data from VBAK, VBAP and material description tables, all tables together. So I can write once one query, I can join those uh, select and I can write one query itself instead of hitting multiple time the database. So that second thing, if you are not only this, sometimes what we will do, as I told you, we will write the same query or same data. We will face the same data from database again and again. No need to do because obviously we have to unpack the data and we have to do, uh, we, we have to process the data and construct the row and then we have to get. So that kind of thing we should not do. So these guidelines becomes less important on SAP HANA. So first is the minimize search overhead because uh, minimize search overhead means uh, we we are using the in the where condition lot of non key fields and since the hana database is running on the in memory we can easily traverse through all the table and so because the data is available itself in the 
memory in memory so that is the advantage so no need of the second index is second more important things because that we can easily traverse through the uh, the the entire table easily and the maintaining the secondary table it will take more time in the and in when we insert any data in that main table we have to modify the secondary index as well so that that is the reason we saw we we are in the hana database we don't have the second indexes at all so a uh, few second indexes are there which is really required and if we use in the where condition without index fields as well that is fine for us so we no need to worry about the minimize search overhead means these are the less important now in the where if we have what really primary key we have to use and if we don't have also we can use where uh, close without primary key index as well that will work faster second thing keep uh, keep unnecessary load away in this i told you uh, we should not uh, do the data intensive calculation on the database but this is not true for sap abap on hana because we our database become powerful we can do easily lot of calculation and aggregation on the database even we can do the sort at all, sorting data and lot of other thing also in the database so we should burden the database as much as possible instead of instead of doing the uh, at the application layer that is not mean we should do unnecessary burden means doing the same thing again and again on this database which is not useful that should not we should not do but still if whatever we can do on the database we have to do at the database level then we have to get the data at the application layer because the database become powerful that is the reason these two things are now less important for us that's it for this video before going to next video please like this video and subscribe this channel it will give me huge motivation to create videos like this thank you and happy learning